N-A-T-I-S-C-O, Nabisco is the name to know. For a breakfast you can't beat, eat Nabisco shredded wheat. Keen eyes fixed on a flying target. A gleaming arrow set against a rawhide string. A strong bow bent almost the breaking point. And then... Shredded Wheat presents Straight Arrow, a thrilling new adventure story from the exciting days of the Old West. To friends and neighbors alike, Steve Adams appeared to be nothing more than the young owner of the Broken Bow Cattle Spread. But when danger threatened innocent people, and when evildoers plotted against justice, then Steve Adams' rancher disappeared. And in his place came a mysterious Tallwood Indian, wearing the dress and war paint of a Comanche, riding the great golden Palomino Fury. Galloping out of the darkness to take up the cause of law and order throughout the West comes the legendary figure of Straight Arrow. Dave Cocker and his wife Carolyn had been city folks back east. And when the westward rush began, they, like so many others, sold out house and home and headed for the frontier to begin a new life. But although they meant well, they were not accustomed to the difficulties of the journey. And by the time the wagon train which they had joined reached the town of Pinto, they were as weary as the gaunt oxen who had brought them that far. That was when they fell prey to a pair of scheming land boomers named Slick Halstead and Bill Deaver. It'll be the easiest falling off the log, Slick. That pair right young. I see him, Deaver. Cut the wagon out from the rest. They're going no further, huh? Question is, have they got any cash? I heard him talk, and they got enough. Uh, uh, we work at the same way, Slick. Yeah, why not? Worked with all the other tender feet. <laughs> sure enough, yes. did. How many times all told have we sold that worthless sandy yes. nugget? Plenty. I lost track. Same here. You know, it's a funny thing, Slick. That mud is nothing but dry ground cattle. There's a nice big body of water right the other side of the rim rock from the meadow. You think the meadow would get some water somehow? No, I can't. The rim rock is solid. Cuts in between the lake and the meadow like a cliff. But as long as these tender feet figure the meadow's well watered, that's all that counts, eh? Good thing it rains the other day. Yeah, <laughs> you bet it is. A little rain makes even a desert blossom out. Call that number, Alice, will you? Mm. I'll move you up to that gent and start my speed. Hey, mister. Uh, mister. Are you talking to me, sir? Yeah, sure am. I, yeah. You and your charming wife. Hey, you're not going on with a wagon outfit like all the rest, eh? No, we're not. Uh-huh. Dave and I have had our fill of travel. He never realized it would be this difficult. It's not that we're lacking in ambition, mister. It's just... <laughs> Don't tell me, friend. You can see for myself... Wagon wheel broken, bound up with wire, the canvas and tatters. I got a scan. And them oxen don't look like they could hardly go another step. I guess they can. I don't blame them. No, me. So we had sort of hoped to find a piece of land. Carol and I, we're not much on farming. No experience. No, not another word, sir. Not another word. I understand. You do? And you're wise. You're very wise. Tell you the truth, the trail ahead is mean. Mighty mean. Yes, that's what we heard. Mountains, and more desert. Redskins. Redskins? Indians. Hostile tribes all the way. Man, there's one thing. Don't you never trust an Indian. Well, there aren't any here, are there? Around Pinto? Oh, friendly Indians, neighbor. All of them friendly. So, uh, you two are looking for a piece of land, are you? Do you know of any? Do I? Yeah, the finest land this side of the river. Carolyn, you hear that? <laughs> Mr. Is it for sale? Uh, the name is Halstead, uh, Mr. Uh, Carter. Uh, Dave Carter. Is it? Uh... Well, Mr. Carter, that, that's just a trouble. It was for sale, but uh, I just about sold it. Oh. Yes, ma'am. To a man right here in town, a man named Deaver. Why was this morning? Oh, yes. Hey, oh, Well, here he is now, the very gentleman talking about. Well, what's biting you, Bill? If you don't want that meadowland of mine, I've got a customer right here. You have? Well, a matter of fact, Halstead, it so happens I'm going to drop that sale. What's that? Can't help me, sir. I got word from back east my brother up and died sudden like, and... I gotta go back and look after his family. Is Rick it's a crying shame. That land is the prettiest I ever saw. Oh, Dave, Dave, okay. did you hear that? Easy now, Carolyn. I heard it. How easy. Uh, mister, mister. Halstead, uh, yes? If that land is open, could we see it? Well, uh... We've got cash, Carolyn and me, and we'd buy it just like that. Could we see it? Uh... <laughs> 
Two days later, Steve Adams was riding near Pinto with Mesquite, Molly, and Patty. It was early morning, and as they drew the breast of a dilapidated covered yeah. wagon, a woman stumbled out. Wait, wait up, please. Steve, looks like she's failing oh, out. Oh, 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 oh. What is it, ma'am? Something wrong? Oh, please excuse the way I look, but I, I just woke up. And my husband, Dave Carter, oh, I hope he hasn't... Hasn't worked, ma'am. Hey, what's your wagon doing camped out here in this year desert? Well, it wasn't a desert two days ago when that man Halstead sold it to us. It was green and pretty. Wait a minute. Halstead? Uh, slick Halstead? Oh, that name suits him. Butter wouldn't melt on his tongue. Last night, Dave found out that Halstead makes a practice of selling this worthless land to tender feet like us. Hold and on. I... Did you have a horse? Oh, yes, one horse. Why? Tracks, ma'am. See him there in the sand? Yes. We're heading him down. Oh, I knew it. I was afraid of this. The rifle is gone, too. The rifle? Dave kept saying he'd get even. He slipped out without waking me. He's gone to town to face Slick Halstead. Oh, anything might happen. Yeah, I've heard of Halstead. He and a man named Deaver. Ma'am, can your husband handle that rifle? Because if he can't, they'll shoot him down in cold blood. <laughs> Looks as if Dave is riding straight into trouble. I hope Steve and Packy will think of the right thing to do and rescue him. And you know something, boys and girls, the right thing for you to do when you see a dish of Nabisco shredded wheat in front of you is to reach, is to reach for a spoon and start eating. Yes, those delicious Nabisco shredded wheat biscuits topped with milk and sugar are really something, and something you'll want plenty of. You see, Nabisco shredded wheat is pure whole wheat, rich natural grain that's grown out on the western plains. Yes, it's mighty good tasting and a mighty fine energy food to keep you going strong all morning long. Tell Mother it's Nabisco shredded wheat for you tomorrow morning, sure. <laughs> Slick Halstead and his sidekick, Deaver, had taken the life savings of a tenderfoot emigrant to the West named Dave Carter. And when Carter discovers that the land he had purchased is worthless sandy meadow, he heads for the town of Pinto to have it out with the land boomers. But as Carter gallops down the main street, he is spotted from the Gunsmoke Cafe. Hey, Slick, look at there. Yeah, Carter. Yeah, looks like he's loaded for bear, too. Maybe you and me better make ourselves scarce for a spell. For that tenderfoot, we'll be lucky, though, Deaver. I can beat him with a draw any day. Besides, we got the law on our side this time. The law? Hey, use your head, our transaction was a mite shady, but nothing illegal about it. He comes in here reaching for a scrap or... Hey, come to think of it. Come to think of what? Suppose he does catch a bullet. That'll make it all the easier for us to take back that land and sell it for the next tenderfoot. Hey, hey Chance. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, listen, uh, somebody just rolled into town searching for me. When he pokes his nose in here and the shooting starts, I want you to do me a favor and back me up, Savvy. With gunplay slick? No, no, no. I'll handle all the shooting that's necessary. Just with the law. <laughs> well, who is he, Slick? That tenderfoot you flim flam the other day? Yeah, that's him, gents. Well, in that case, sure, we'll swear anything you want. Right. Yeah. Thanks, gents, thanks. All right, Diva, you better... Hey, Slick. Yeah? yeah, now what? Don't tell me Carter's going right on by. No, we stopped by the hitching rail. I reckon he'll mosey in any second. But look back the way you come, Slick. Huh? There's two strangers heading in, playing fast. You reckon they're with Carter? Oh, they can't be. Well, they're moving fast. Yeah. Well, you're right. All right, Deaver. You slip out the back way and cut around, Savvy. Mm. If they do trail in here after the tenderfoot, you'll be right behind them. Right behind them and ready to let fly. There's your town, Steve. But where in blazes is Carter? He's around someplace, Packy. He's right up. Hey, what? Right up right here. Whoa, whoa. Hey. Steve, I don't savvy. This chestnut right here at the hitching rail, partner. Isn't this the horse we spotted over the hill? By Cactus Kino. That's any boy. <laughs> Probably means this place right in front of it. Uh, the Gun Smoke Cafe. Yeah. You and me never met up with this Halstead hombre. From all accounts, this is just where he'd hang out. All I hope is that Carter hasn't had time to... Packy, Kino, Steve, trouble. Easy, Packy. Don't rush in until I beat you. All right, so you come in here, gun. No, Packy. <laughs> Drop that gun, mister. Drop it. Carter, you all right? I don't know. Yo, 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 Packy and I just came from Sandy Meadow. Kino, and Mesquite Molly's doing all she can to keep your wife calm down. Carter, even a tenderfoot ought to have more sense than to bust into a place like this. Uh-huh. Well, this man cheated. Oh, such a thing. 
showed you a piece of property fair and square. You know it was no good. I don't give a hang what it was. It was legal. The law backed me up. Ain't that so, boy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you hear that? And, uh, furthermore, Carter, your two amigos may have a drop on us, all right. But what they don't know is that they find them deeper. Pull quick, I can't do it. You won't get another chance. Carter, Carter, grab him, Patrick. We gotta get out of here. Well, I swung. And you mean to say you all three got away without a scratch? Mr. Adams, I guess I was a crazy fool. Dave Carter, you certainly were. When my heart was in my mouth, I was that scared. I'm sorry, Carolyn. Even if we lost everything, it's not as bad as if we'd been shot. Yeah, your wife's right, Carter. But can't I do something about this land? It looks so green and fruitful the other day. Well, that was right after a rainstorm. If you'd been smart, you'd realize that. I wasn't smart. Oh, we were tired out, eager to put down roots any place. No, 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 you mustn't take on. I can't help it, Miss Keith. All our life, is it... Now, Carolyn Carter, what's done is done. It's all over. Hey, now, jumping blue... It's not me. over, Miss Keith. Unless I'm seeing things, that man in the lead is wearing a sheriff's badge. Oh! Oh! All right, the three of you, you're under arrest. Hey, no, Sheriff, if you want to take Carter to the calaboose, I reckon you... The three of us are disturbing the peace a few hours back in the town of Pinto. Oh, I did. Now, now, wait, Sheriff. You got it all wrong. Well, you can't arrest my husband. It's a man named Halstead that's guilty. Ma'am, I'm sorry. There's witnesses, and Halstead is one of them. Just because there's more witnesses on the other side. Doesn't... Packy, now's our chance. Thanks for watch to make a break for it. We can't help Carter behind bars. We can get close to our ponies while they're paying attention to Mesquite and the Carters. That's it. Easy now. It's a long shot, but if we hey, make it... it... Run, Packy! Run, Packy! Get it, yeah. We got to jump out of steam. They can't touch us now. Where are we heading for? Packy, there's only one way we can help Carter now. We're heading for Sundown Valley in the hidden cave. The cave is straight out of Get along now. A short distance from the Broken Bow Ranch House lay Sundown Valley, and in it, through a secret entrance known only to Steve Adams and Packy, a vast subterranean cave. The walls of the cave glitter with crystals of gold. From an unknown source comes light that spreads a shimmering gleam everywhere, and standing in the glowing light is a great golden palomino. Easy there, A Comanche bow and Comanche arrows hang on the wall. There is Comanche war paint. Comanche dark. In a moment, Steve Adams' rancher is gone. And in his place, victory is high. Take down. A clatter of hoops in the vast vaulted cave. An Indian war hoop that rings from the glittering rock. Out into the open gallops the great golden Palomino fury. And Tidings airbag clad in Indian garb from head to toe. Great arrow on the trail of justice. The sun had already gone down, and the moon was beginning to gild the landscape as Straight Arrow, accompanied by Packy, rode along the edge of the sandy meadow at the base of the cliff. Eh, no sign of the covered wagon, Straight Arrow. You reckon Miss Carter hitched up with her moose? If she and Miss Keith went any place, now, honey, it was toward the town of Pinto. Yeah, reckon so. Carter is in jail, is he not? He know, but still... Sandy Meadow has no water, Packy. The women could not stay here. Jerry, wait. Hey, hey what in blazes? Oh, you ran up so sudden, me and Paint didn't have a chance to... Hey, what are you staring at? The cliff, Nahoney. The cliff? Yes. Come, we go closer. Easy, Dick. Steady, Fury. Packy, lay the palm of your hand on the face of this rock. Yeah, you know, but I don't savvy it. Well, I'll be a buck-eyed buffalo. Straight hair, it's kind of damp. Very damp, Nahoni. But I don't get it. That'd mean... Why, that'd mean... Yes, we both understand what it might mean. 
There is only one way to find out for sure. You'll take care of it? I will. Leave it to me. I sure hope it works. It is a long chance, Nahoney. But because of this dampness, Dave Carter may find that he has not purchased a worthless property. Packy, while I am busy here, you pick up the trail of the covered wagon. Find Mesquite and Mrs. Carter. Find them and tell them what we have noticed. <laughs> Why, Cactus Mesquite, you mean to say you and Miss Carter decided to make camp out here? I figured you'd head on into town. What's wrong with this, Packy? We stopped at a water hole, didn't we? Packy and Mesquite talked about going into town, but with Dave there in jail and all those people... You I... know, ma'am, I savvy. As long as you couldn't be right with your husband, you preferred staying out in the open. That town is full of cheats and lies. No, no, don't go blaming the sheriff. I blame everybody. My name that sheriff is honest. I'll bet my hat on it. Then why did he arrest Dave? Now, look, he don't favor Halstead and that crew any more than you do. But they swore it was us started the fracas. They lied. I swore they lied. Only can't be proved. Besides, I got some extra special news that'll make you feel a heap shot better. Special news, Packy? About what? Mesquite? Maybe Dave Carter didn't do so bad when he bought that medal. What's that? But the place... No, 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 wait, ma'am. Let me finish. Just a while back, I was... Well, I was with a certain party, and we happened by the cliff at the far end of the meadow. The cliff that cuts off the lake from the meadow? Oh, don't interrupt, Mesquite. This uh, a certain party noticed something mighty strange. You'll never guess. Packy, will you tell us... Yeah, a... Mr. Hey, what the... Oh, oh, he oh, no. oh, now, don't try nothing, Savvy. The next time Deaver pulls trigger, you won't ever talk. You bet he won't. Holstead. Slick Holstead. Yeah. All right, mister, suppose you tell us. Tell you what? Don't give me that. Me and Beaver were scouting the Rimrock, Savvy. We saw you and we recognized the big Comanche straight arrow. Well, what did he discover? What's he fixing to do? Mister, you don't want anything to happen to these two females, do you? The great arrow has discovered a way to salvage Dave Carter's bad bargain. But meantime, while the red man is busy elsewhere, Slick Halstead and Bill Deaver have trailed after Packy. And they jump him just as he joins Mesquite Molly and Carolyn Carter. You heard me, mister. Me and Deaver ain't fooling. Packy, whatever it is, don't you, don't you say a word, Packy. Shut up, the both of you. Well, mister. Slick, maybe he figures we don't mean business. Uh, you'd never pull trigger on a couple of harmless females? We didn't say anything about doing that, did we, Deaver? No, Slick. But we might take him out on the desert. Far out, Sally, and leave him there without any horses. Why, you No you. horses and no water. It's mighty hot out in the desert, mister. Better than 120 degrees in the shade, and there ain't any shade, none at all. They'd walk. Then they'd get scared, and they'd run. And they'd get thirstier and thirstier. Oh, stop and it, get... stop it. I'm sorry, Peggy. Never mind, ma'am. <laughs> Kino, you ain't hosted. Packy, no. That's you... no use, Mesquite. They got us on a short order and there ain't no way out. Hosted, one thing before I spill it. No bargains. This ain't a bargain. You won't harm the women folk, that's all. Well, yeah, they won't be harmed. You neither. We'll just take you off somewhere and tie you up good and tight for a spell, that's all. Now, now come on, speak up. Okay. Straight hair is planting dynamite in the face of the cliff. Dynamite? He figures that the dampness on the rock means that the water in that lake is starting to seep through. And with a little help, there'll be plenty to irrigate the whole meadow. By thunder, sick, he's right. We should have guessed. You never would in a million years. Takes the red man to notice things like Shut that. Up. So, that meadow's going to be worth plenty, eh? It belongs to my husband. It won't for long, ma'am. In return for withdrawing all charges and letting Carter out of jail, I'm going to make him sign back to me the entire property I sold him. You heard about these three, Slick? You going to tie him up and take him someplace? Yeah. And I know just the spot, Beaver. Sandy Meadow. The meadow? Yeah. So when the red man sets off that dynamite and the water comes out, it'll be a flood. Maybe. A flood? Uh, Why, you... <laughs> yeah. Maybe it'll drown all three of them. I'll tie him up, Beaver. Mm. He'll get him out there when it's still dark. We're doing pento in the morning. Already daybreak, Terry. Drilling holes for this dynamite took longer than I... Ah, there. It is done. Now the explosive cap. There. And the fuse. Now all that remains is to strike a spark from this flint. The fuse is cut short. We have only a few moments to get clear. There will be pots and water. 
much water. There. Now, Fury. Steady. Up, Palomino! Oh, oh, Fury, ho! Oh. What is that? Out in the middle of the meadow. Buzzard circle over something. I cannot... Steady, Fury. I will stand on your back. There. Well, not enough light on the ground yet. Can it be? To hurry. Packy. Packy and two women. Up, Palomino! Hello, Curry Paul. Packy, Mesquite. I can't just here. We hollered till we were forced, red man. Packy kept saying. I understand, the... Mesquite, but there is no time to lose. Any moment the dynamite will explode. Here. You first, Mrs. Carter. An Indian. A red man. Don't you be afeard, ma'am. This here's straight air. He's the best friend law-abiding folks ever had. Red or white. Where are your horses, Packy? Gone by catches and thieving skunks took him to town. There. Now you're Mesquite. Yes. Paul Stephen Beaver, Packy? You know, the blasted coat that spotted you last night in the moonlight. They trailed after me. Then the ocean. Straight air, Annie. I can see it. The cliff at the end of the meadow. There's water pouring out of it in a regular flood. Oh, red man, hurry. Hurry, we will be found. Yep, Carter. All student Deaver here have agreed to drop charges against him. Just say the word, and I put the key in this cell door of yours. You mean I, I go free? You better repeat it for his benefit, Halstead. Suits me, Sheriff. There's a condition attached, Carter. A condition? Now, hold on. What condition, Halstead? You never said anything. Well, I'm saying it now. Ain't nothing much, Carter. Slick says you give him back that sandy meadow, and he drops the charges. The sandy meadow? Well, that's worthless. Then you won't mind giving it up. What about the cash you paid for it? What about Carter? Yes, Sheriff. You do believe I favor you over these polecats, don't you? You strike me as an honest man. I am. That's why a fair turns the stomach to have to side with these varmints. But still... Yeah, what the sheriff is saying is that uh, this is your one chance to get free. Uh, that's about it. But they lie. I know, I know. But they'd be willing to get on a witness stand and perjure themselves. Perjury nothing. We'd swear to it. Better make up your mind, Carter. I'll lose my money into the bargain. Well... I'll need a pen to sign the agreement. Yeah, sure you will. Now, go ahead, Sheriff. Let him out of the cell. He won't run away. I know he won't blast your hide. He's an honest man. Yeah. All right, Carter. This way to my office. I can't tell you how sorry I am about this. The day ever comes that I get the goods on these two. <laughs> it will someday. <laughs> hey, somebody rained up outside. It's the red man. The red yes, man. Deaver, and all of us. He, oh. he and Mesquite and Carter's wife. Thought you finished this off, didn't you? But you didn't count on straight air. Steve, Steve, you haven't signed it away. Signed what away? Carolyn, the I don't... Meadow. There's water now, Dave. Plenty of water. The red man says the land will become fertile. Fertile? Yes. He means irrigation, mister. It'll grow all you need and more. From now on, that is a gold mine. Uh, well, so uh, we lost out on it, didn't we? Yeah, well, that, that's too bad, you see. I was figuring... All right, Deaver, make it right here. Here you go. Drop that gun. Drop it, Halstead. Drop it. Now back. Back you go. Both of you. That's it. Now, in you go. Rip man. You put him in the cell. We well, sure enough did, Sheriff. But I don't understand. You will, Sheriff. This time you have a charge against them that will stick. Attempted murder, Sheriff. I'll take those keys. The attempted murder of Mesquite, Mrs. Carter, and Patty. A charge that will keep them behind bars for a good long time. Looks as if Deaver and Slick are getting just what's coming to them. But say, boys and girls, there's something good coming your way when you ask for Nabisco shredded wheat for breakfast. Yes, sir, those crisp, toasty biscuits are mighty delicious. Just top them with sugar and milk, and you're having a real straight arrow breakfast. And a breakfast that'll keep you going strong all morning long. Because Nabisco shredded wheat is pure whole wheat, a real energy food. And, of course, Nabisco shredded wheat and milk give you some important vitamins that you need. Better check with Mother now to see if she has plenty of Nabisco shredded wheat on hand. 
tell her you'll be glad to go to the store for Nabisco shredded wheat anytime. Remember to get the package with a picture of Niagara Falls. Adventures of the Old West ride with Fredo. And remember, N A B I S C O, Nabisco is the name to know. For a breakfast you can't beat, eat Nabisco, and it weeks. Listen again Tuesday, same time, same station, for another adventure with Straight Arrow. This program came from Hollywood. And now for Sky King, which follows over most of these stations immediately. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System. <laughs>